Bonjour and welcome to a new unboxing video and today I'm particularly excited because the item I'm going to show you and unbox for you is something I've been waiting for a very very long time and uh, you may guess that uh, there's a reason why I'm dressed like this like Commander Koenig from the uh, Space 1999 TV series and it's probably because actually this item is from Space 1999 so it's very exciting uh, before I, I open it this um, this top is actually from the official Jerry Anderson shop online and you can actually order it very easily from them it's really really nicely cool and comfy and they do two versions they do the Commodore Koenig one and they also do an Allen counter with the yellow sleeve so if you're interested in that and uh, you, 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 you should actually uh, order it from uh, the website and actually when you've got this tunic of course what do you need well you need a comlock it's better this way. A com lock and a stun gun. And that's exactly what we're going to unbox today. This is brand new, just arrived from 1612, and they just got it from uh, the factory. It's a bit late. It was supposed to be released last year. They showed it at the Toy Fair in 2020. And uh, of course, with everything that's happened uh, since then, uh, we can actually understand why it's so late, but it's brilliant. It looks fantastic. The box is really, really, really cool. I do like the fact that it's not a rectangular box. Uh, so you do have at the front, you can see through the window, the stun gun and the uh, com lock. You have a lovely portrait of Dr. Elena Rasson and another shot of uh, Commodore Koenig. Yeah, it does say that it's uh, the Alpha Moon based on Gun and Comnock with lights and authentic sound effect. On um, the, this side you've got a, a Moon Base Alpha uh, logo. On the back you've got a, a photo of Commodore Koenig and description of the other item that they are releasing, They're releasing uh, action figures uh, actually in a few months, so that could be fun. And uh, you do have some extra pictures of Space 1999 on the side and at the bottom it's all the illegal information that we're usually not bothered reading about. And without further ado, we're going to unbox this thing. It's very exciting. I've got plenty of batteries because I know it's using a lot of batteries. I think there's five batteries all in all. So let's open this. Um, so we do have, I'm going to show you first before, well, there is actually a little background of uh, Moonbase Alpha uh, in inside the box, which is really, really kind of cool. I'm actually thinking that it would be really perfect for Hmm, would it be the correct size, do you think? Well, nearly the correct size for my Mego figures, uh, my Palitoy figures, sorry, um, from the 70s. So that's really nice too. They, I, I do like when they do uh, things like that in the background. So good picture. And we do have this box in which you have the Comlock and the stun gun, and you do have some other items. So let's see what it's like so we do have a little sheet of instructions uh, which i think they're not very difficult as you uh, can imagine i shouldn't have any problem reading the instruction um one thing however that i notice is that even though they explain how to open the battery compartment they don't tell you where the battery compartment is there you you know where it is on the comlock you don't but should be fairly easy to find then you do have little stands so you do have two stands one for the com lock and one for the stun gun and we do have the beautiful stun gun and the com lock we're going to get rid of the uh, first of all, first thing to know is that they are plastic, so they are not really very heavy because they, they may look heavy, but they are actually plastic. So here you go. Here is the, the com lock. So you do have the, the keyboard on this side. You do have uh, Commander Koenig's uh, photo ID on the side. You do have uh, a key, of course, to open, uh, open the door like everybody uh, nose and uh, you do have a clip if you want to put it on your beautiful 
transparent plastic belt uh, on your costume and you do have a screen which I'm pretty sure lights up so that's going to be interesting we'll put the batteries in it and then we do have the stun gun so the stun gun is really uh, nicely cool you do have the four lights and I suppose that there is a different sequence depending on what you're doing with the uh, the sun gun it does have the little loop which I've, al I've always wondered about that because they really don't use it that much in the show um, and you do have on top the kill or stun uh, slider and and it looks like there's a button here which is probably the uh, Yes, it is the, the trigger, the power on off button here. So let's put some batteries in that. So the interesting thing about this battery cover is that they say that you have to actually, it's not the most obvious thing to do because you actually have to grab it like that and you actually squeeze and you get it off and then you've got the compartment inside which has two batteries. So we're going to put the two batteries. I'm going to put all the batteries at the same time. This way we won't lose any time after then doing the batteries. So let's see how easy it is to put this back in because it's very snug and yes, it is really very, very snug. And then uh, I'm actually hoping because you need to clip this back in place I'm actually thinking that if you do that a bit too often you may have a problem and it may break uh, that could be a problem so uh, but anyway your connectors you're not going to play with that I mean nobody is going to play with those so let's face it <laughs> uh, and then we do yes there is the screw here so we're going to open this and so there was two AAA triple A batteries in uh, in the stun gun and there are three triple a batteries in the com lock so let's do that and hopefully we're going to be ready for some action and that's usually when you try it and that you realize that the thing isn't working for whatever reason so here you go, let's let's try with let's start with the stun gun, which is really good. It's very shiny, I like how shiny it is. Uh, it feels good in the hand. I think it's a, it could do with a bit slightly heavier, but uh, that's me. And we're going to press the on off button and see what happens. So if I press it, I probably pressed off. So let's press it again. So that's the kill. Uh, so the kill. Yes, you've got the two blue lights, and if you do the stun setting, there's quite a few different. There's different sounds. Let's try with the key if there's more than one sound. So the kill button. It, you can only kill one way with this one so that's really cool and we're going to, to actually put it on the little stand if i understand how to i'm not quite sure how that works uh, let's try this way maybe yes that's basically how you use it for the stand and now let's try the most exciting thing for me um and uh, see how it works so we do have the uh, power is the button number nine and then we do have number one Please fire. Recall all needles. so basically it says and what I didn't show you but I'm going to show you for now because there's more than one sound is that it all lights up let's see if there's something else Doors. Computer, command order. Cancel safety restrictions on launchpad 4, give me access. 
Eagle 3 and 4 immediate liftoff. Eagle 2, jettison your passenger module and pick us up at launch pad 1. Colonel, what's the power situation? It's being restored now, sir. Medical to embarkation immediately. Colonel, he's on board the standby Eagle using Carter's com lock. Stop him. Oh, Commander? Keep all Eagles in standby positions. Yes, sir. Oh, cut the power. Oh, red alert. Evacuate the technical section, seal it off, then open the airlock to the surface. This there's a huge amount of sounds on that. I didn't expect to have that many sounds, and there is no listing uh, saying how many different. Sir, we have you on visual. That does... we come out peaceably, or we'll come and take you out. Your choice. I'm not going to do all of them because obviously there's quite a few of them and I want you to have a few surprises. So there is that. And then there are another, the other button is for sound effect, which is number two. So let's see what number two does. Aha. First of all, the screen is different. It is the, uh, the logo uh, from Moon Bazaar, you know, with the, uh, the kind of uh, square things. I mean, I'm, I'm going to try and see. There's, there's quite a few sounds there as well. Well, there's of course less sound. <gasps> That's the door. And I'm going to do another one of these so that you can see more clearly the screen. So here you go. That's that's really it. Uh, I really, really like those. Yeah. Let's see how it works on the um, because I expect it's going to be a bit different. Oh yes, you basically put this one like this. So I'm very, very happy. I mean, it's been a long time coming, but it's so worth it. I really, really love those and. Uh, and well, they are available from 1612 and they should be available uh, in the next few weeks in uh, other shops. And I think that 1612 is selling worldwide anyway because they've got, they are distributed by some shops in, in other countries. So, so here you go. This is the, the Comlock and, uh, and Stun Gun from Space 1999 from 1612. And uh, now I'm going to go and play a bit. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye. Thank you.